aku mihi ki a koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Um, thank you very much for the opportunity to speak on behalf of National. May I acknowledge our inimitable and extraordinarily well-qualified chairman, uh, Linda Clark, and uh, might I acknowledge my parliamentary colleagues, the Honourable Annette King, Kevin Haig and Barbara. We all work together on the Health Select Committee and though we have different political ideologies, we certainly can collaborate from time to time. Might I particularly acknowledge uh, your network and the incredible passion and commitment you have for uh, rural health. Acknowledge your uh, chairman, chairman uh, Dr. Joe Scott Jones, and uh, of course, Dr. Sharon Hansen. Um, it's great to see, oh, I see, uh, 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 practice, uh, <laughs> nurse practitioner, Sharon, I'm sure it will be one day. Um, it's great to see uh, Professor Norman Sharp here, and I was delighted to, re to read that he, uh, uh, or the New Zealand Heart Foundation, congratulated the government on uh, progress since the last uh, election and rheumatic fever in uh, uh, smoke-free uh, free, uh, te aroa, primary prevention and establishing the cardiovascular risk targets, and for improved access to heart treatments. Um, I'd like to acknowledge Dr. Tim Malloy for the huge amount of time and effort that he has put into rural general practice over many years. As a member of parliament from a large rural electorate, Penua, which literally has no traffic lights, and I'm not talking about the food labelling traffic lights, I am reminded daily that the rural sector is the backbone of New Zealand society and the backbone of New Zealand economy. And to that end, the national government is fully committed to supporting the rural health sector. Some of the initiatives that we have put in include rural funding, and as you know, in October uh, last year, there was an announcement made after collaboration between the New Zealand General Practice Network, DHBs, PHOs, and the Ministry to uh, support rural general practice with new arrangements to retain clinical staff and services through alliance arrangements. And the monetary figure was an extra $2 million a year uh, going forward and a transition amount. I want to emphasise that the government wants ongoing collaboration with your network and will not make changes to this, this arrangement without your support. In terms of general practice rural training, as you know, Health Workforce New Zealand is committed to work with you. There are a variety of uh, initiatives. In fact, eight in all. I'll just uh, mention two of them. One, the prioritisation framework where, um, uh, sorry, uh, uh, the re regional rural admission scheme, where at the medical schools, 40 places at Otago, 50 at Auckland, 10 dental uh, at Otago for students of rural origin, on the premise that we know from research that those that come from uh, rural origin tend to go back there uh, more frequently than those that don't. As well as that, of course, the postgraduate general placement where the Royal College of GPs funds 35 general rotations per annum. But workforce planning is particularly unpredictable and despite government putting, or successive governments, putting great effort into this from all the contemporary knowledge they have, it still remains difficult. And as Tim Malloy said, migration of medical doctors since the GFC has changed tremendously. The same with nurses. The Australian training has uh, uh, cohorts have been far more substantial than was expected. And so we have to make changes over time according to both international, national and regional changes. The voluntary bonding scheme you'll be well aware, with, there are, uh, aware of. There are currently something like 2,688 participants 307 of them doctors, 2,080 nurses. 
This scheme is particularly re relevant to uh, better workforce coverage in the rural sector and is geared to change according to need. And as you may know, this year there's been some changes made, uh, particularly in the West Coast, Canterbury region, and various parts of the North Island, and that, of course, will change from time to time. In terms of general practice uh, recruit recruitment, the Ministry of Health contracts a national recruitment and locum support services. I think this is due for rollover, and it is of a value of about $4 million or so. As well as this, there's the uh, $5 million uh, allocated to rural after-hours practice. New technologies are highly supported by this government. You would be well aware of the commitment to rolling out the Rural Broadband Initiative. Value is about $300 million between 2011 and 2016, and there is strong support for the use of telemedicine, e-prescribing, and patient portals, and ongoing support for the mobile surgical services remains strong. Finally, rural mental health uh, we strongly supported uh, the Federated Farmers Campaign, When Life's a Bitch, um, and it undoubtedly highlights the greater incidence of suicide in rural communities and highlights early detection and care of depression. Again, there are a spectrum of initiatives pertinent to the rural uh, sector. Um, in terms of the two challenges that we've had, I um, agree with Tim that there are changes, and that's the point I was making early. We have to be flexible with workforce. There is no country in the world, first or third world, where this phenomena of finding it hard to get doctors and sometimes some of the uh, highly advanced nurses uh, is not difficult. I personally am not one for compulsion. I think incentive's the way to go. And I think uh, the very point that was made, the fact that this is the first year in the history of New Zealand that we've had more, ge uh, more uh, uh, medical graduates uh, available than there were places to fulfill them is an example of where with appropriate incentives, hopefully we can uh, uh, get better uh, uh, manning of the rural uh, services. With regard to nurse uh, practitioner prescribing and the support around it, um, this has been a long time coming and I, I absolutely accept it's been far too long. The government absolutely is committed to this and, uh, as, uh, uh, and I think that this is very much right uh, uh, throughout the uh, the, the whole sector. Uh, in terms of support, I think that uh, this very much depends on ensuring that there is plenty of ongoing quality uh, opportunity for peer review, uh, education, time off, uh, um, to be able to attend, upgrading, etc., and that we have the best use of technologies and we work in a collaborative team spirit. I absolutely think that's vital. We've had difficulties in the past with midwifery, et cetera, but I think the, uh, there's optimism for collaboration in teams, and I think that undoubtedly is the way of the future. So might I say that the national government very much recognises the significant challenges in the rural sector associated with isolation, infrastructure, workforce and a plethora of other issues and we're absolutely committed to working with you. Thank you very much.